welcome back to another Vlogmas video with us. We are a little bit festive today with our matchy matchy hair. Tweeted! Because we've got no Christmas tree over here, like I said in one of the other videos, we need to make it look a little bit festive, don't we? <laughs> this was supposed to be a Q&A wrap with me, but can you be bothered at wrapping presents? <laughs> me neither. Like literally we sat for two and a half hours yesterday wrapping them and we're still not done. So I yeah. was at it. And it was like mm -hmm. Steph done twelve, I done five six. I done twelve, I've done more than twelve. Well I'll just go with that number. Got loads done. So guys, we're here to answer your questions. Yes, we are doing a QA. And we're gonna answer. And there he's all ready for Christmas. There's a question for you. Okay. It's so close. Yeah, and even if you're not ready for Christmas, even if you're only ready for Christmas mm -hmm. on Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. No. You, you get it done eventually. Mm -hmm. And remember, Christmas isn't about the presents, it's about the presents. Got questions um, I asked on Instagram if you want. So I was meant to do a wrap with me story time, and then I asked if people wanted a Q&A instead, and I got no response until later on after I'd already finished the wrap with me present thing. And then I felt bad leaving the, all the questions that got. That I got, I'm saying all of them, there was only 13, but I thought I'd fill it in in another little video. Um, I need to come and have a sit with us. Yeah, some of them, most of these questions are stuff that we've never been asked before, strangely, apart from one. The same question we get all the time, but most of them we've not been asked that I can think of anyway. But it doesn't matter because anyway, we're here to answer them. No yeah, and we've the got question, loads of new people anyway. How big or anyway. small, yeah. we'll swing around. This hat is annoying the life out of me. And just fell out some will it. take longer and some will take shorter because some you've already an answer for and some you haven't. Yeah. So, oh gosh, hey, ding -a -ling, -a ling a ling a ling We'll answer there with the most one-asked question of all times. And here it goes. What do you think it is before we say what the question is? I wonder if anybody knows. Comment down below if you think you know what it is. <laughs> but the question is, do, do you want more children? Do you and Joe want more children? <laughs> the answer to this question is We've still answered same. it loads. No. Yeah. No, we, we've said loads of times, like, we don't know if, if we do want any more. It's kind of like, not right now. But we were actually discussing... Do we ever see any more in our future? No. no. Yeah, no. Do we ever see any more in our path? No. We, we were discussing this before, weren't we? And I was like, yeah, yeah we do want more children. And he went, what? And I was like, if money was no Wait. object. <laughs> what? <laughs> it wasn't like a, what? It was like, <laughs> what? I was like, so you're telling me if my health was good, like I hadn't had previous miscarriages and we had all the money in the world and we had a massive house, would you stop having kids? And he went, no. And I was like, so there we go, we do want more. And he was like, no, it's, that's not, that's the, not question. the question. And I was like, okay. So he was like, do you want more babies? And I was like, no. There's your answer. And he went, well, there's your answer then. And I was like, yeah, that's right. And it's weird because we always, both of us always had this thing to have more children and, and no matter how many losses we had it didn't put us off trying again like mm -hmm. literally we tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and until we have Nevea, it this is the only time where we've been content and not trying if that makes sense and these are the only years in 15 years that i haven't been pregnant and i'm telling you something it feels good just to be honest it relaxing cute and do you know what? It, 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 I just not, no, I'm just no. too old now for babies. Yeah. So that's that question. No, done. I, I don't even think it's that. The answer too, should it be I short and sweet. I don't think it's that we're too old to to have kids because loads of people have kids right. over, and I think you'd have more patience the older you get as well. Like we definitely understand Nevaeh's needs more than we did the other kids. I think. Mm -hmm. And so we're enjoying it. The so. answer to your question is no. no. I don't think there would be any in the so future. So we've got another question. Do you want to do the drum rolls? Why do you drum rolls? You do drum rolls? Why do drum rolls? What are your plans for the new year? Do you have any holidays? No, that's a that's a separate one. That's why there's a space. Oh. Okay. What? So it goes back. Rewind. <clears throat> what are your plans for the new year? What are our plans for the new year? We've got we've got so many false plans. Because <laughs> it all depends on if I pass my test in January. If I pass my test in January, I've got a driving test booked in. When's it for? It I don't even know the date. The I know it's around like mid-January. We've got a lesson booked in January that she's going to pass. 
And then mm. we'll let you know plans. I'm manifesting that I'm gonna pass. I'm going out on my driving lesson every single week. Like I'm gonna smash this. Even if she fails, we can book a test for another six weeks. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. easy doing the hard part out the way. It's just get mm. the license then. Um, so. I would like to say we've got plans right now. Yeah. Our plan right now is to, to get a license. To pass my test, yeah. The plan right now is to pass my test and then, but yeah, we do, we, we've been like, so we're not in set in stone apart from, actually I can't answer that because that's a question, but not is actually set in stone, but we are like, if I drive, so I'm gonna, hopefully if I pass my test, we'll be driving before Renee's birthday, yeah. at the end of January, and we're like, if I'm driving and I've got my car, we will do this for your birthday and we will go to Blackpool and we will go to Wales and we're gonna drive to Scotland and we wanna go to Disneyland and we've got all of these amazing things but we don't even know if we can get there because I on on record I can't drive right now. I can drive. I can drive. There's just a little bit of extra practice I need on certain manoeuvres. Mm -hmm. But but we'll smash them in the mm. next six weeks. I just need, you've just given away the I haven't, because it could be six weeks mm. or not six mm. weeks, I exaggerate. Mm -hmm. So that's that question done. Next one we've got. See, that joins in with that. Oh. That's why I oh, Maybe it up. was one question then. And do you have any holidays books? We do have a holiday book yes, at do. the moment, just one. It's in May. Mm. Um, no, not the date though. Yeah, it's in May. So basically, we went away in September when we got to the caravan. It was a little bit, it looked lovely. It looked lovely until we unpacked. I think it was because we got out of the minibus and we threw everything in the caravan so we couldn't see anything. And then when we unpacked and started putting things away, we were like, oh my God, this caravan's been good. It hasn't been cleaned. Yeah. So we went and complained and they tried to give us another caravan. You could probably watch this video back, but just a very quick run over it we complained they tried to give us another caravan we just we'd scrubbed the caravan that we were staying in so obviously you're not going to sleep in a caravan with five kids and you know a sick mother-in-law whilst it's mingling and um, we didn't want to spend our saturday moving from caravan to caravan and then having to unpack and blah 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 when we could be at the fun fair so we declined it and then they gave us money off a future holiday booking so we skipped at the chance didn't we and took the offer and then my mother-in-law also then said well you know you've given me this money off a new holiday what about some discounts as well and we ended up getting like 100 pounds off the holiday didn't we Something like that, yeah. Yeah. it worked out better, it worked out better. so then it, for, so. for like a really good weekend that we're going which should have been like really expensive we're only paying like 200 pounds for Something like that, yeah. and we're going off so again it's even cheaper again his mum's paying off we're exactly. paying off and a, a little so, yeah, bargain at holiday. The moment we have at the moment just got one, but yeah. there will be more than one. But we have just got one right yeah. now. Do you have a New Year's resolution? And do you no? Do you have any New Year's? Do you have any New Year New Year's resolutions? And did you stick to the ones you set for this year? If you had some, I can't remember. We actually, I actually asked Joe this because we did go through some of the questions together before we answered them to make sure we were happy to both answer them type of thing. And I said, did we talk on the vlog about having New Year's resolutions? And I'm not sure if we did. I can't remember if it was the year before, but we did say that we wanted to learn to drive. That was one of them. And I did exactly that. And what We else? wanted a new kitchen and we did exactly that. I can't remember if we spoke about um, that. We wanted a new floor and living room. And we done exactly done that. that. We wanted to make the house home. home. We did that. Yeah, we did set New Year's resolution. You wanted a new job and all stuff, and we did it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah. I, we did. We, we did. A lot of changes. We, we did, because I remember talking on the vlog about it, and, and we said new job, and that was one of them. And I said we wanted to be in and either offer new job, more money, or we wanted to, or I wanted to be in and off YouTube, and we did both. Yeah. But yeah, I wanted to aim more. So well, the only thing we didn't do, we said that we wanted to maybe look into getting a bigger house or making this house more spacious somehow. And we haven't done that yet, but we've adapted things to make it more comfortable for the time being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, for this year's New Year's resolutions, you'll stick with us for New Year's Day because we're doing a vlog, or we'll be vlogging. Yeah. So you'll yeah. see our New Year's resolutions. Well, that's when we do them, we sit down with the kids. And, and our barbecue ask, ribs yeah. as well, look. I told you to use hand sanitizer to get it off. I had them all over my hands as well. That's why I haven't got my wedding rings on because I bathed the baby. Me and the baby had it all over us as well. The but next question will be, what car will you buy when you pass your test? 
So we both have different opinions. One with wheels. We both have different opinions <laughs> on this. Steph thinks we're going to be like Fred and so and have one with no engine and we're all going to have to ship it. We're all yeah, from time to time. Fred um, But no, Steph's happy with any cost. No, yeah. Steph's got a heart set on one she really likes. So I'm not I even going to say. I haven't like, got my heart set on one I really like. We'll pick one or two, Steph. I've seen a model you have that you keep going back to the same model yep. all the time. So when she says she has, she has, but she doesn't want to say she has. But Steph's picked a model kind of that she's it's going old, back it's to. It's an old car, which is why Joe's like, no. But, but if I have my way, right, so open it's sesame a, doors, yeah, uh, yeah. closed like, sesame doors. like this big top um, notch stuff. And, but now, um, the only car I want to try and avoid is a Vauxhall Safira because I've heard so many bad things about them. And um, but they're the only cheap ones, you know. When you when you go to actually look where I could, you know, spend less than a couple of grand anyway, and you know, be able to just get it and be like, when I pass my test, I haven't got to wait round and save up a little bit more or anything like that will probably be a Vauxhall Sphera and it's one of the cars I don't want to end up with but I probably more than likely will end up with but the car that I want to go for is a Picasso because apparently they're really reliable, they're really big, I've looked at loads of reviews, the boot space is massive even with the back seats up um, you can get loads of parts for them, they're really easy to like get parts fr from different garages and like old, old sales and my cousin recommends it to me who's a mechanic and yeah i was like that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for ideally a seven seater picasso that isn't the dream car though the dream car is a nine seater yeah and we've been looking at a yellow one <laughs> he's like no but i've seen a yellow nine seater x taxi isn't it is it an x taxi or an x minibus don't even want to talk about it but i love it and you know what it's a bargain and i love it Actually, it's not a I love it. And do you know what, right? I'm not going to go too much into this, but my mum passed away two years ago and someone messaged me recently who, who I trust and said that they had a dream. Now, nobody knew about this, us looking at a yellow car, did they? Good. And she said that... Not, not a single person no, in the whole wide world. Only me and him. And um, she said that she had a dream about my mum, who, by the way, she'd never met. She's never seen a picture of or anything like that. And um, she described her mum to a T, like head to toe, everything that she wore. What's scary. And said, my mum said, pick the yellow one. <laughs> <coughs> and it was the only yellow thing that we've been speaking that about. That we've been speaking about. Because we sat there for <laughs> for hours, didn't we? What's the yellow one? What's the yellow one? What was that? That's what is that? Because I can't sit still. Oh my! So. You have just put the cash up me. You're so, a bully. <laughs> <laughs> no, me. Anyway, I nearly had a heart so attack. We, yeah. So we thought about. So I was so like, I'm, I'm getting the yellow one. I'm was. getting the yellow one. <laughs> anyway, next question. How much do you spend on Christmas, and do you have a budget? Steph likes to have a budget. No, right, don't even go there, right? Definitely. So we, we spoke about this again, something that we spoke about in other vlogs and I'm going to bore people with it all, but for years we got in debt for Christmas and I'm on about not just stupid debt, not like, oh, a couple of pounds here and there. We were paying Christmas to Christmas and then getting in debt again and paying Christmas to Christmas and we had nothing right throughout the year. There was no holidays. There was nothing. What's that? There was no holidays, there was nothing special. There was still odd holidays no, and wasn't. days out. There was. There was, there was a couple of there days was, out here there and was. there. But it was Robin Peter to pay Paul. It was like, miss one but, bill to go on that day out and then you had to double it up and then there was no other days out for another month. We were Robin Peter to pay Paul and then every single Christmas we were getting another loan to pay off that Christmas and then we were having to pay it and it was so... And, we, and also, not only that, was we Robin Peter to pay Paul. If we needed a new washing machine, where did we get it? The catalogue, Bright House, Page Review, it was every almost finance, and we went from that from like 2007 to 2012. Yeah, but wasn't it? Yeah. 2012, 2000. Now, Ebony was born, I think it was about 2000, it was just before we had Renee. So, just before we had Renee in 2015, we, we cut the catalogues out, and that helped a lot. But then we were still in debt for Christmas and then we decided 
we weren't doing it no more. I think it was 2017, wasn't it? I was like, I'm sick to death of this. I'm sick to death of being skin every single week. I'm sick to death of having to wait until we get paid again to be able to go and buy something or do something. So I said, I'm not doing it no more. We're gonna start budget on Christmas. Because what we liked to do was buy and buy and buy and buy and buy until the piles were no more, weren't they? So I could see the tree. Yeah, it was literally, the piles were disgusting. I, I'd say I'll put a picture up, but I don't even want to try and encourage people to be like that because it was it was horrible. And, you know, we used to thrive for them comments on Facebook where people would be like, oh my God, you're doing amazing. Them piles are massive. And we'd be like, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. We are doing amazing. But really we weren't because we were in debt, bad debt for stuff that the kids would go. What's that? Literally. <laughs> it was only a pack of hair bubbles at the same time. <laughs> but literally that's what they did. And they left it in the box underneath the bed. And then it come to going and clearing out underneath the bed. And the presents would still be in the box. Why haven't you used this? Because I didn't ask for it. That's literally... Answer, can you stop? Because that I sounds so... Answer, can you take your slipper off and do it? The answer would be <laughs> diabolical. But. Yeah, so um, we decided to start doing in 2017. Something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read. And usually the people who do that only do one present each category. But we don't, we do, we say to them like, okay, depends on how much we've got for that Christmas. Like say for instance, we'll say, you've got 250 pounds as your budget. So everything has got to be in within that, but it's all got to go in that category. Now we don't religiously stick to it because I'm not even all about the budget. I'm all about the something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read. Or the budget. Yeah, because sometimes we don't we go, go stupid anymore now. No, 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 no. So we know our limit yeah. as well. So yeah. When so we, we say, don't do main presents for Christmas, so where people will go and get an Xbox series. X, no. yeah, or a no, PS5. No, an Xbox X or, or a PS5, yeah, then. Yeah. Where people go out and pay £500 for them for Christmas and then get all of, like, the design clothes and the, the this and the that and the other. And then they've spent, like, £1,000 on each child or so on. We do not do that. There's no, no. more doing that. We do that now for birthdays. So for birthdays, they have like a massive budget and we believe that's the way it should be. Christmas is about everyone and your birthday is just about you. Yeah, so Christmas is we decided when we sat down and thought about what we believe Christmas is as our couple and a family. We believe Christmas is about giving, spending time together. Yeah. And it's not about the amount that's they there. They still get stuff. And you'll see as you go back a year to our videos, we get a lot. Yeah. Um, um, but like for this Christmas, Matthew and Zach are getting the main present because they couldn't possibly think of anything else that they needed. They couldn't, the only thing that they could think of that they wanted was like money for the Xbox and some little bits of clothes. Which we already had anyway, so yeah. they weren't covered as presents because they have the clothes anyway and they have the yeah, money for the Yeah, but there's something Xbox. to wear type of thing. Uh, but that comes as clothes, yeah. so they picked their own clothes for something to wear, but we'd always have their clothes yeah. anyway. So that way, like, yeah. that way, the problem. That's not with it. So, what he's trying to say is the clothes on in the budget. We do something, yeah. we want something to need, something to wear, something to read. But the 250 that we set them doesn't include clothes. Yeah. Clothes come separately to Come separately that. to what yeah. they get for their budget to spend yeah. on what they want. So, to it's, kind, it's kind of like the girls are never ending lists. The girls go and go and go. Give us a new every week, though, do you? Yeah, like Ebony. Like, I'm like, okay, we're two weeks until Christmas now, we're almost done, and Ebony's like, Right now, like a training doll head to do my hairstyles on, and I'm like, would ya? But we wouldn't stop. <laughs> so just because we were done, we wouldn't stop. So because that list came in, we carry on now, and we buy that list. Yeah, but now I've got a limit where I'm like, well, you know what? You get Christmas money, so you can buy it. But there is a line now where we stop and say we don't, we don't cross that yeah. line. So we know now our boundaries yeah. as well as what to give. And yeah. What to give. So yeah, the boys are getting main presents this year, but the girls aren't. So it, it's gonna look crazy on Christmas when the boys are opening like. But it's not because a couple, a little couple of things, and then a main gift. Yeah. And the girls are opening loads of little things, but not a main gift. But people are kind of. But the girls have yeah. main gifts. Yeah, they so, do have main gifts, but it's just not as much as what. It the doesn't boys look are. as much as that. But if you put them together, their main gifts. And their other stuff equal the same amount. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, they suffer. But then it'll always look like the girls will have more than what the boys will have because the boys will only have that. But then they cost a lot to get to that. Yeah. But you'll see so, anyway. Yeah. So, so yeah, basically what we're trying to say is, yeah, we do have a budget. Some years it's £150, some years it's £250, some years it's £400. But we do try relatively to stick to 250 £250 for Christmas. Yeah, because then, then that's over £1,000 for us. We've got five kids. And, and then obviously and then the birthdays come We've got like after 15 and nieces and nephews yeah. as well. Mothers and dads and everybody else. Christmas is an expensive time for everybody, isn't it? And like, yeah. We have a birthday now for four days before Christmas. We have a birthday 28 like, days after Christmas. Like, so What she did is by doing that, did help. Yeah. So it took stresses away for the Christmas holidays. Yeah. It took stresses away for the year coming because you didn't have to worry where that money was coming from. Mm -hmm. And even though like, you think, oh, I want to give them that, that's what birthdays are mm -hmm. for, it's their day. Yeah. It's so, their like, whole day. you know, they'll see the friends down the street getting uh, what, what are them scooters called? The electric, electric scooters, ones. Yeah. The electric scooters, you know, like the expensive ones that are like £300. And they're like, Oh, can I get one of them for Christmas? And straight up, I say, no, you can't, because that's outside of your budget. And I seem like I'm being mean. And then the mates are like, I can't believe your mum said no to you, so get on that. But I'm like, your birthday, you can have that. And then whatever you want. But if I got you that, that's all you'd unwrap on Christmas. Just that. No clothes, nothing else. And that's not fair. Mm -hmm. So, no, you will not get something like that for Christmas. But you could have that for your birthday. And whatever else you want. Yeah. So it always wins mm -hmm. with them as well. Yeah, so they, they, they like it that way. They like it better, don't they? Yeah. Opening loads of the little things on Christmas mm -hmm. and then on the birthdays, getting the big gifts. It makes them so excited for the birthdays. Anyway. So let's move on. I yeah, that question right. dragged on there, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Um, did you ever use the loft after finding the creepy thing? You know? <laughs> no. Do you know the amount of people who say this to us? Did you ever find out what that was? We did do a part two. We did find out what it was. Go and watch it if you haven't. But no, we haven't used it. Seth has everyone to go watch it because she just laughs every time she goes through. Oh, it's hilarious. It's oh. absolutely hilarious. Like, I can't even explain. Oh, watch. But no, we haven't oh, no, used we it. Didn't we didn't use it. And it's nothing to do with the thing that we found either. It's just, we don't feel comfortable, do we? No. Um, in, if you watch the first video, you'll know that we found, like, mouse droppings and rat droppings. And um, they weren't fresh. We had them checked to make sure that they weren't fresh. But the thought of putting our Christmas stuff up in the loft or any of our stuff up in the loft and then if any and ever got in the loft and went on that stuff and then we were getting it out on Christmas and like rat droppings or anything dropped. Ugh, yeah, I wouldn't no. use it anymore. So no, no, I wouldn't didn't. use it anymore. So next no. question. That's made me feel really sick though. <laughs> is Joe still working? Joe is still working, yeah. He is, yes he is. He's working really hard yeah, and he's working from home now if you're wondering why, like he always seems to be around. Or in his dog. Yeah, I think a lot of people think that because on his dinner times he comes downstairs, he's wearing his pepper pig pyjamas with his snug and he's standing at the door and he just looks like he's not working with a load of kids and his wife at home. But again, I always <laughs> say this to Steph, you take your face value by what you please. Like, I will stand at the door with this, and I will have a pair of PJs on. The neighbour across the street asked me. I will not be bothered about who's walking past or care. care no, the, the neighbour across the street um, moved in about a year ago, didn't he? Yeah. He's never spoke to us, and then one day he come over to the and he's like, hi, and, and had a little conversation with him. And he was like, um, so, so um, your kids always seem to be around. Where did they what, where did they go to school? And he's like, oh, the homeschooled. And he's like, oh, the homeschooled. Is that what you do? And he's like, no, I work. And he's like, you work? Hmm. And Joe was like, yeah, I, I work. It's my wife who, who homeschools them. And he's like, where do you work? So we told him. And he was like, do you? Oh, wow, I didn't know them. And he's like, yeah, I work from home. And he's like, oh, so you're all at home? And Joe was like, yeah. I will. We're all at home, um, and he was like, "Oh, and and you looking good." And he was like, "And your wife doesn't work." And he was like, "Well, she she doesn't like go out to work, but she does YouTube and she homeschools the kids, and she's a housewife." And he was like, "Oh wow, that's so strange. I've never met a family like you before." <laughs> From him. No one yeah. else. No, I'll try that again. Do you still homeschool when you get ill, or do you take holidays? Do you get in trouble if you don't? No, we don't get in trouble um, if we don't. It's very rare that we don't. It depends on how sick you actually get. We take holidays if the kids get sick because 
you know, they, they were in school, they'd be at home from school. Um, while I still, while I had pneumonia, they still learned because they still have a tutor. They have online learning, which is independent. They have independent work. I set the month, the months worth of work a month ahead, so it was there ready. They knew what they had to do because they'd already been learning about them subjects and things that I knew that they couldn't do. Mostly the young girls, we left and didn't do it until it got better. Um, but we still did everything. We still did cookery and everything, which I think I recorded some of it, didn't I? Yeah. So we still yeah. get the motion going. But if we do take a break, we never get in trouble because we don't take holidays. So we work right throughout the summer holidays, winter holidays, um, Easter what, holidays. Easter holidays. I forget what holidays there are. May half teams, bank holidays. We do work on all of them. Just so if we go off on holiday or you know Joe's got a random Wednesday off work, let's go and have a day off at the beach. We can do that because we work. Right throughout the only day we don't do a Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Basically. Um, next. What's your dream job? What was your dream job? What was your dream job when you were younger? Now, slash, slash now. now. And what do you. What, what job do the kids, kids want to do when, when they're older? Um, so, what, what was dream? your dream job when you were younger? Slash, slash now. now. So, that's to us. Yeah, so we'll stop there. Okay. To be fair, I didn't really have it. I always wanted to be a lorry driver. Yeah, I was going to say that. When I met you, you wanted to be a lorry um, driver. Always. Um, but then it changed my mind. So I just think very good at the lorry on your own. Couldn't think of not boring. I think that changed, didn't it? As, as you grew up a little um, bit more, yeah. But now I'm comfortable in the positions that I take now because I don't take a job if I don't like it. And if I work a job, I don't like to leave. Mm -hmm. so. so when I was younger, because I thought that you had to want to work in a certain job and my cousin who I looked up to was an air hostess I wanted to be an air hostess and then as I got a little bit older I wanted to be a hairdresser and then I tried being a hairdresser and I realised I didn't like it all that much either um, and then I, I wanted to be a mum honestly I wanted to be a mum that's all I wanted to ever be like if anybody said what do you want to be when you're older I wanted to be a mum and a mum mum and that's what I wanted to do um, but I just want to correct you on the what your dream job would be type of thing right i think that you'd really like something where you're self-employed where you're not bossed around because the most comfortable job that you were in i know you like the job you're in now but the most comfortable job that you were in and do you know what the most comfortable job that you were in be a postman yeah that's so he was a postman and the only time he ever seen anybody was when he was in the sorting office getting the mail and when he'd go back to, to, to take his bike back he never had to speak to anybody any day. He used to work 72 hour weeks and he loved it. He absolutely adored the job and then they went busted and it wasn't Royal Mail, it was Whistle. No, it started yeah, as he, TNT, then Whistle. Yeah, it was TNT and then went, changed to Whistle and then... Um, it was he, a good job. Yeah, you loved that job though, didn't Very you? Very good. And he says all the time, if a job like that came about again, he'd take it in a heartbeat. I'd be more healthy as well. I was doing it as well because back then I was like you were bigger, really yeah, big. yeah, you were bigger. And I did. But you rode that there. bike, mate. And if you know where Bearsco and, and places like that are from, from where we live in Kirby, he rode that every single day. He rode all around the he everywhere every single day. And the good thing about it was you used to be able to be on the phone to me, so we could talk all day long. So it never felt like we were away from each other. And I used to direct them because it. it what was it? You couldn't use Google Maps or? Just get lost. You'd get lost. So I'd have the, the map up on my phone, tracking him where he was, and I'd go right, turn left, and get on such and such a lane. And that's how you know most of Liverpool now. You know the names of the streets and everything, mm -hmm. don't you, because of that? But yeah, that was his most favourite job. So I would say if there was any type of dream job, it'd be self employed. And that's the same as me. I don't want to be away from the kids or away from the home. So it'd have to be something that was from home or self employed. Next one. Oh, kids. Yeah. What do the kids want to do when they're older? Uh, kids change their minds all the time. Yeah. Um, so they'll have different things. The boys Zach, have their own dreams. Zach said he wanted to be a lawyer or a, a teacher or a doctor, they mm. were like his, and he hasn't really changed his mind no. on that, has he? But Matthew was like, he wanted to be Batman at once upon a time, and then he said he wanted to be a YouTuber, but then, like, without trying to crush his dreams, I was like, the realisticness of being a YouTuber is, it's hard. Trying to earn a proper, you can't earn a proper wage off YouTube unless you're really, really big, 
mm -hmm. like we've been at it now for five years and i you couldn't come out of work not right now no. yeah. so they they got so yeah dreams. so he, 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 matthew kind of just says now i'll i'll earn go anywhere where i can earn until i make my dream basically yeah. Are you moving house or did you decide to get the thing for the garden for the older boys? I'm guessing you mean the summer house, the thing for the we garden. We haven't yet, but it will come next year. No, I don't know. Uh, but we haven't decided no. because if, again, if Steph gets a car, plans won't be the same. Yeah. So that's why I say I can't address plans right now. Yeah. So we need to come back to that question in January. We'll yeah, do another QA like... in January. <sighs> um, it, when Steph's got that blue so... piece of paper in her hands, we'll come back and do a different Is it, it, one in January. The summer house and the garden, I think that was like me and it, like we were... We were going, we could do this. Yeah, we could get them a summer house for in the garden because it's so warm and they'll be so warm. It'll be great. And then winter's setting and I'm like, this house is freezing in winter. And I couldn't imagine them being out in that garden yeah, in this like weather. It. If this house is this cold, imagine what a summer house would be yeah. like. And I wouldn't like to give their room away to the baby and then them have to come in and feel like they're not. Couldn't come back in. Yeah. Like they couldn't come in yet or they had to or sleep on the floor. Make, or they would have been. Or they couldn't make that choice to say, can I want we to come, come back, back in the house? Yeah. So we decided, no, we'll wait no. till after Christmas. If Steph, once Steph got her license, yeah. we'll see what the world evolves around us. Yeah. Um, would you get any more pets? No. 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 That's the same question as kids. No. No. Pets are worse than kids. I'd rather have a kid before I had a pet. Um, yeah. And that sounds bad, doesn't it? But I would rather have, if you said to me, I'm bringing a dog home to, tomorrow, or we're trying for a baby, they're your options. I'd say, try for a baby. <laughs> try for a baby then you ever bring another dog into this house and i'm saying dog because that's what he did last time i said oh look our Never friends that, you know. our friends selling dogs and he went oh that's so cute do you want it and i was like oh it's cute but now and then literally two days later he was like right our friends i won't say any our friends is coming <laughs> later on i was like why is she coming and he was like, she's bringing the dog. And I was like, what dog? And he was like, the dog. And it like literally got lumbered on me at like one o'clock in the afternoon. And she was coming at five or six, wasn't it? Yeah, five or six, yeah. Yeah. Like, and I'm not even joking. It was, it was what, 20 days before Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, the elves brought it, didn't No, you? no, the elves didn't bring it. You brought it. The elves no, brought the elves it. didn't bring it. You brought it. And we recorded it. You brought it. No elf brought it, you brought it into the house. I watched you with my own two eyes and video evidence. He brought him into the house. I love him, I absolutely love him. I, I, I was gonna say if I could turn back time, I wouldn't have got him, but no, I don't, I don't regret my choices. I would never get him again, no. And he's not a bad dog, he's just so much hard work. Animals are time consuming, aren't they? And you know, everything's just a little bit but no, no more. He took over time. He, he traumatised me, basically. So he goes, oh, there's a puppy that you didn't want to look after with four kids that you're homeschooling, that you need to potty train because we've got a clean carpet right throughout and, you know, can't pee or poop anywhere. And, uh, oh, by the way, I've took a crap load of overtime right on top of Christmas, so good luck. And left me in the deep end, didn't you? Well, no, because I got the money and... No, you left me in the you, deep end. You, you traded no, that really well. No amount of money was changing how miserable I felt that month. <laughs> I felt miserable that month. But now... No amount of money changed changed that. But but I hadn't trained in two weeks. How she could train a dog? Yeah. Wait two no, weeks? No, I can't train. Wait, why a dog train no. for two weeks? Not a chance, not a chance. As I say, he's a really good dog and I do love him, but he he's hot way. So on that note, guys, that's the end of the questions. Yeah. And I need to go to sleep because I've got work tomorrow. Yeah, and it's really late now. Nice. We got the um, sleep and then decided to So, we haven't got to your questions. If we do have any more, fire them at us. We'll answer no, them on don't. the next QA. Don't, because we won't be doing another QA for ages. Just wait until I put the next post up on Instagram. And yeah, you better Because time, otherwise yeah. I start getting Definitely. comments everywhere oh, and right. then I feel Definitely like I have to we'll do. We'll reply to them anyway. Mm. So, leave until January, yeah, and we'll come back we'll and do come another one. We'll do one like every month we'll or so. Always, 
comment back on the comments that you leave for yeah. us because we find that if you take time to leave us a comment it's nice to take the yeah. time to reply back to you. I yourself. do, we reply to all the comments. And thank you all for sticking around through Vlogmas, like mm -hmm. I can't believe it. I can't believe how many subs we've got up. I can't believe yeah. how many people sit and watch us. And how many people are <laughs> actually tuning in. Like, it, it, yeah. it still surprises us. Like, and what day are we on? What date is it? Day 12. 12. Day 12 and I've not failed yet. And that's mostly because of you. Team doing with, the first couple of days. Team because with, one goes down, one picks up. I know I edited it, up, but you up. recorded it. And but <laughs> now again, it's like, from, from what it still shocks us till this day. Like, yeah. That you take time out of your days to... Sit and watch us on your TVs or like your phone, every time we get a comment saying or... binge watching, I'm like, oh my god, they binge watching us. Why? Why would anybody want to binge watch us? Yeah, or oh. just the fact that you you did comment like yeah. support, like the, the amount of support we had over your sickness yeah. and me being sick, and honestly, the comments I, like felt deep. I have more and support from our YouTube subscribers than I had from my own family. Yeah. You saw our family. You are Your too, last yeah. six little lamb no, family. But, no, but from from me and Steph, like have a good Christmas and not yeah. just have a good Christmas. Bless you, because it's still and it still throws us like yeah. that. Like them, them comments. Some of them were heartfelt. Some of them were. Some of them were sad. They were looking at each other. We were just like, I saw that she fired at me when I was in work, and it'd be a bad day. Yeah. And she'd be like, look at this. And especially one specific person, you know who you are. Like, yeah. She, she checked upon me on instagram messaging me making if it wasn't for her i probably would have ended up in hospital yeah yeah Just if it wasn't like, for her advice comments were noted um, information me. was taken on board and, and and we do appreciate it yeah. like well thank you very much time yeah. you spent people's views the, the minutes the hours you give us spread us pass us to your friends uh, let them come and feel the love because we've got loads to give and more to give and there's still plenty of time left for Christmas too isn't yeah. it to see what happens um, we are going to try and keep up with Vlogmas anyway so uh, we, we will probably are not break on Vlogmas no. guys we're going to try sickness never got us down weather's not going to take us down yeah. and unless they break our phones or cut the internet you're going to see us right up till New Year's Eve because we deals we were going to do it didn't we we did and when we put the figures together, we're doing it. Yeah. So thanks again. So we'll see you again tomorrow, tomorrow. for another, another one. one. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.